a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Star Wars Star Wars is an American epic space opera franchise, created by George Lucas and centered around a film series that began with the eponymous 1977 movie. The saga quickly became a worldwide pop culture phenomenon. The first film was followed by two successful sequels, The Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. These three films constitute the original Star Wars trilogy. A prequel trilogy was released between 1999 and 2005, albeit to mixed reactions from critics and fans. A sequel trilogy concluding the main story of the nine-episode saga began in 2015 with The Force Awakens. The first eight films were nominated for Academy Awards and were commercially successful, with a combined box office revenue of over a billion. Together with the theatrical spin-off films The Clone Wars, Rogue One and Solo, A Star Wars Story, Star Wars is the second highest grossing film series ever. The film series has spawned into other media, including books, television shows, computer and video games, theme park attractions and lands, and comic books resulting in significant development of the series' fictional universe. Star Wars holds a Guinness World Records title for the most successful film merchandising franchise. In 2018, the total value of the Star Wars franchise was estimated at billion, and it is currently the fifth highest grossing media franchise of all time. Setting the Star Wars franchise depicts the adventures of characters, a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Many species of aliens coexist with droids who may assist them in their daily routines, and space travel between planets is common due to hyperspace technology. The rises and falls of different governments are chronicled throughout the saga. The Democratic Galactic Republic is corrupted and overthrown by the Empire, which is fought by the Rebel alliance to restore the Republic. The New Republic later rebuilds society, but the remnants of the Empire reform as the First Order, and attempt to destroy the Republic. Heroes of the former rebellion lead the resistance against the oppressive dictatorship. A mystical power known as, the Force, is described in the original film as, an energy field created by all living things, it, binds the galaxy together. Those whom, the Force is strong with, have quick reflexes. Through training and meditation, they are able to perform various superpowers. The Force is wielded by two major knighthood orders at conflict with each other. The Jedi, who act on the light side of the Force through non-attachment and arbitration, and the Sith, who use the dark side through fear and aggression. The latter's members are intended to be limited to two, a master and their apprentice. Theatrical Films the Star Wars film series centers around a trilogy of trilogies. They were released out of sequence, the original, prequel, and sequel trilogy. The first two trilogies were released on three-year intervals, the sequel trilogy films two years apart. Each trilogy centers on a generation of the Force-sensitive Skywalker family. The prequels focus on Anakin Skywalker, the original trilogy on his son Luke, and the sequels on Luke's nephew Kylo Ren. A theatrical animated film, The Clone Wars, was released as a pilot to a TV series of the same name. They were among the last projects overseen by George Lucas before the franchise was sold to Disney in 2012. An anthology series set between the main episodes entered development in parallel to the production of the sequel trilogy, described by Disney CFO J. Rasolo as origin stories. The first entry, Rogue One tells the story of the rebels who steal the Death Star plans directly before Episode 4. Solo, a Star Wars story focuses on Hans backstory, also featuring Chewbacca and Lando Calrissian. An untitled trilogy by Episode Vi's director Ian Johnson has been announced, with an additional film series by Game of Thrones creators David Benioff and D.B. Vice also in development. Original Trilogy in 1971, Lucas wanted to film an adaptation of the Flash Gordon serial, but couldn't obtain the rights. He began developing his own story inspired by the work of Edgar Rice Burroughs. Immediately after directing American Graffiti, Lucas wrote a two-page synopsis for his space opera, titled Journal of the Wills. 
After United Artists, Universal Studios and Disney rejected the film, 20th Century Fox decided to invest in it. Lucas felt his original story was too difficult to understand, so on April 17, 1973, he began writing a 13-page script titled The Star Wars, sharing strong similarities with Akira Kurosawa's The Hidden Fortress. By 1974, he had expanded the script into the first draft of a screenplay, adding elements such as the Sith and the Death Star. Subsequent drafts evolved into the script of the original film. Lucas negotiated to retain the sequel rights. Tom Pollock, then Lucas lawyer writes, we came to an agreement that George would retain the sequel rights. Not all the merchandising rights that came later, mind you, just the sequel rights. And Fox would get a first opportunity and last refusal right to make the movie. Lucas was offered $50,000 to write, another $50,000 to produce, and $50,000 to direct the film. The offer was later increased. American graffiti cast member Harrison Ford had given up on acting and become a carpenter whom Lucas hired for his home renovations, until Lucas decided to cast him as Han Solo. Star Wars was released on May 25, 1977. Its success led Lucas to make it the basis of an elaborate film serial, with the backstory he created for the sequel. Lucas decided that the series would be a trilogy of trilogies, with the original film retitled Star Wars. Episode 4 A New Hope for its 1981 re-release. Episode 5, The Empire Strikes Back was released on May 21, 1980. And Episode 6, Return of the Jedi on May 25, 1983. The sequels were self-financed by Lucasfilm, and generally advertised without the episodic number distinction present in their opening crawls. The plot of the original trilogy centers on the galactic civil war of the Rebel Alliance trying to free the galaxy from the clutches of the Galactic Empire, as well as on Luke Skywalker's quest to become a Jedi. Prequel Trilogy According to producer Gary Kurtz, loose plans for a prequel trilogy were developed during the outlining of the original two films. In 1980, Lucas confirmed that he had the nine-film series plotted. But due to the stress of producing the original trilogy and pressure from his wife to settle down, he had decided to cancel further sequels by 1981. Technical advances in the late 1980s and early 1990s, including the ability to create computer-generated imagery, inspired Lucas to consider that it might be possible to revisit his saga. In 1989, Lucas stated that the prequel trilogy would be unbelievably expensive. The popularity of the franchise had been prolonged by the Star Wars Expanded Universe, so that it still had a large audience. A theatrical re-release, updated the original trilogy with the style of CGI envisioned for the new films. Episode 1, The Phantom Menace was released on May 19, 1999, and Episode 2, Attack of the Clones on May 16, 2002, both to mixed reviews. Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith the first page 13 film in the franchise, was released on May 19, 2005. The plot of the trilogy focuses on the fall of the Galactic Republic, the formation of the Empire, as well as the tragedy of Anakin Skywalker's turn to the dark side. Sequel Trilogy Prior to releasing the original film, and made possible by its success, Lucas planned three trilogies of nine films. He announced this to Time in 1978, and confirmed that he had outlined them in 1981. At various stages of development, the sequels were to focus on the rebuilding of the Republic, the return of Luke in a role similar to that of Obi-Wan in the original trilogy, Luke's sister, Han, Leia, R2-D2 and C-3PO. However, after beginning work on the prequel trilogy, Lucas insisted that Star Wars was meant to be a six-part series and that there would be no sequel trilogy. While promoting The Clone Wars in 2008, Lucas maintained his position on a sequel trilogy. The movies were the story of Anakin Skywalker and Luke Skywalker, and when Luke saves the galaxy and redeems his father, that's where that story ends. In May 2011, Lucas and Disney CEO Bob Iger began discussing the acquisition of Lucasfilm by Disney. 
A few months later, Lucas discreetly began working on guidelines for a sequel trilogy involving a microbiotic world and creatures known as the Wills, force beings that control the universe, although not all of his ideas would be used. He later decided to leave the franchise in the hands of other filmmakers, announcing in January 2012 that he would step away from making blockbuster films. Asked whether his decision was influenced by the criticism he received regarding the prequel trilogy and the alterations to the original trilogy, Lucas said, Why would I make any more when everybody yells at you and says what a terrible person you are? In October 2012, the Walt Disney Company agreed to buy Lucasfilm and announced that Episode 7 would be released in 2015. The co-chairman of Lucasfilm, Kathleen Kennedy, became president of the company. Reporting to Walt Disney Studios Chairman Alan Horn, Kennedy also served as executive producer of new Star Wars feature films, with Lucas serving as creative consultant, as announced by Lucasfilm. The sequel trilogy also meant the end of the existing Star Wars expanded universe, which was discarded to give maximum creative freedom to the filmmakers and also preserve an element of surprise and discovery for the audience. The sequel trilogy focuses on the journey of the orphan scavenger Ray following in the footsteps of the Jedi with the guidance of the reluctant last Jedi, Luke Skywalker. Along with ex-stormtrooper Finn, she helps the Resistance led by Leia fight the First Order commanded by Supreme Leader Snoke and his pupil Kylo Ren. The Force Awakens was released on December 18, 2015. The Last Jedi on December 15, 2017, and Episode 9 is due to be released on December 20, 2019. Standalone Films In his initial planning following the success of Star Wars, Lucas planned a few standalone films separate from the Skywalker saga. Theatrical films outside the main episodic series have their origin in the Ewok spin-off films Caravan of Courage, an Ewok adventure and Ewoks, Battle for Endor, which were screened internationally after being produced for television. Although based on story ideas from Lucas, they do not bear Star Wars in their titles, and were considered to exist in a lower level of canon than the episodic films. After the conclusion of his then six-episode saga in 2005, Lucas continued developing spin-offs in the form of television series and theatrical films. Preceding the airing of the animated TV series in late 2008, the theatrical feature Star Wars, The Clone Wars was compiled from episodes, almost, as an afterthought. It reveals that Anakin trained an apprentice between Attack of the Clones and Revenge of the Sith. The series explains Padawan Ahsoka Tano's absence from the latter film. The character was originally criticized by fans, but by the end of the series the character had become a fan favorite. It exists in the same level of canon as the episodic and anthology films. Anthology films Before selling Lucasfilm to Disney in 2012, and parallel to his development of a sequel trilogy, George Lucas, and original trilogy go screenwriter Lawrence Kasten started development on a standalone film about a young Han Solo. On February 5, 2013, Disney CEO Bob Iger made public the development of the Kasten film. Along with an undisclosed film written by Simon Kinberg, Disney CFO Jay Rossolo has described the standalone films as origin stories. Lucasfilm and Kennedy have stated that the standalone films would be referred to as the Star Wars Anthology series albeit the word anthology has not been used in any of the titles, instead carrying the promotional, a Star Wars story, subtitle, focused on how the Rebels obtained the Death Star plans from the 1977 film. The first anthology film, Rogue One, was released on December 16, 2016 to favorable reviews and box office performance. The second, Solo, a Star Wars story, centered on a young Han Solo with Chewbacca and Lando as supporting characters, was released on May 25, 2018 to mixed reviews and little box office success. More anthology films are expected to be released. Untitled Trilogy by Rian Johnson In November 2017, Lucasfilm announced that Rian Johnson, the writer-slash-director of The Last Jedi, would be working on a new trilogy, 
The films will reportedly differ from the Skywalker-focused films in favor of focusing on new characters. Johnson is confirmed to write and direct the first film. Untitled Films by Benioff and Vice In February 2018, it was announced that David Benioff and D.B. Vice would write and produce a series of Star Wars films that are not Skywalker-focused films, similar to Rian Johnson's upcoming installments in the franchise. TV Specials a two-hour Star Wars holiday special focusing on Chewbacca's family was produced for CBS in 1978. Along with the stars of the original film, celebrity guest stars appear in plot-related skits and musical numbers. Lucas loathed the special and forbade it to be re-aired or released on home video. An 11-minute animated sequence features the first appearance of bounty hunter Boba Fett. The Ewoks from Return of the Jedi were featured in two spin-off television films, The Ewok Adventure and Ewoks, The Battle for Endor, both aired on ABC on the Thanksgiving weekends of 1984 and 1985, respectively. Warwick Davis reprised his debut role as the main Ewok, Wicket, in a story by Lucas and a screenplay by Bob Corral. Wicket helps two children rescue their parents from a giant creature. In the sequel, the Ewoks protect their village from invaders, while a child from the first film tries to escape. Animated Series Nirvana, the animation studio that had animated the animated segment of the holiday special was hired to create two animated series. Droids, which aired for one season on ABC, follows the adventures of and R2-D2 before the events of A New Hope. Its sister series Ewoks features the Ewoks before Return of the Jedi and the Ewok movies. After the release of Attack of the Clones, Cartoon Network produced and aired the micro-series Clone Wars from 2003 to weeks before the 2005 release of Revenge of the Sith. As the series featured events set between those films, it won the Primetime Emmy Awards for Outstanding Animated Program in 2004 and 2005. Lucas decided to invest in creating his own animation company, Lucasfilm Animation, and used it to create his first in-house Star Wars CGI animated series. The Clone Wars was introduced through a 2008 animated film of the same name. Both were accepted to the highest level canon in 2014. All series released afterwards would also be canon. In 2014, Disney XD began airing Star Wars Rebels, the first CGI animated animated series produced in the new era. Set between Revenge of the Sith and A New Hope, it follows a band of rebels as they fight the Galactic Empire and help close some of the arcs in the Clone Wars. The animated micro-series Star Wars Forces of Destiny debuted in 2017, focusing on the female characters of the franchise. The animated series Star Wars Resistance debuted in late 2018 is anime-inspired, and focuses on a young Resistance pilot shortly before The Force Awakens. An additional animated comedy series, titled Star Wars Detours, was in production with 39 episodes completed, but was cancelled following Disney's acquisition of Lucasfilm and never aired. Live Action Series In November 2017, Bob Iger discussed the development of a Star Wars series for Disney's digital streaming service, due to launch in 2019. It has been reported that there are multiple live-action Star Wars television series currently in development, with noteworthy talent involved. Jon Favreau, who previously voiced a character in The Clone Wars, will produce and write one of the television series. In May 2018, Favreau announced his series would be set three years after Return of the Jedi and feature motion capture. On October 3, 2018, Favreau revealed that his upcoming live-action Star Wars series would be called The Mandalorian and will follow the warrior race from which bounty hunters Jango Fett and Boba Fett were sprung, centering on a lone gunfighter in the outer reaches of the galaxy far from the authority of the New Republic. Favreau will write the script and act as executive producer for the series. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries Would you like to know more?